keeping Windows 10 running smoothly also means you ought to check and find out whether you've got any problems going on. The best way to do that is to use the reliability monitor, which is a part of your operating system. A couple of ways to get to the reliability monitor. The hard way, open up the control panel, then go to security and maintenance. Once you get to security and maintenance, expand maintenance, and then click on view reliability history. That opens up reliability monitor. And as you'll notice, I have something here that's red. Red is never good. Click on it. On the bottom, it tells me that I have two critical events. Both of them are from a new program that I recently installed, which helps to update the drivers on my system. Let's see if there's a solution to the problem. Click on check for a solution. Unfortunately, not yet, but it's been reported. And once they find the reason for this particular error, it will eventually be fixed. I have two options. Use the program and cut it off when you're finished, because this program automatically remains resident. Since I don't want the error to be there, just close it down after using it. But this is where you will find all of your errors. If there are any, as you see, for me, there's only one. That one will be solved simply by only using the program and then totally closing it once I've finished with it. Keep your system safe. Keep your system up to date. And if you have an error, try to get to the bottom of it as quickly as possible. There is, of course, an easy way to get to the history portion of the reliability monitor. And the easy way to do that is to click on the search. And once you get here, just simply start typing reliability. And up on top, you'll see view reliability history. Once you click on it, it opens this right back up again. That's the easy way to get to it. Stay safe, be free. I hope this helps.